Manchester City versus Real Madrid second leg, our home leg in our Champions League semi-final is now officially sold out. Isn't that fantastic? No, it's not. Usually when I see the word sold out beside any of our fixtures, I always go, this is great. This is exactly what we need. The Blues are all out in full force. All, all the hardcore have tickets. It's going to be a fortress. Exactly what you would want on a Champions League semi-final. Like you want your home stadium to be an absolute fortress. An intimidating an intimidating venue for our, our European giant um, opposition to come to and feel intimidated by. You, you don't want them coming and feeling like it's just a, an easy occasion for them uh, and there's nothing to worry about. City have got this wrong. City have got the ticket sales to this absolutely wrong. And listen... I don't like to criticise the club too often because I think for the most part they get a lot of decisions right. I think they run the club quite well for the most part. But on this occasion they've got it royally wrong. They really have. Now listen, I got my ticket to the game on the day that it went on sale for season ticket holders because of my season ticket. It gave me access um, two days before I think it went on sale to everybody else, which was this morning. And I thought this was a bit weird because I'm not on the Champions League scheme. I just have my season ticket. I go to a lot, a lot of the home games and I've been to 10 or 12 away games this year in the Premier League. I've been on a couple of European aways this year. But I still found it weird because there's definitely a lot of people who go a lot more than me. There's people who've been to every single Champions League home game. I can't say that. There's people who've been to every single Premier League home game. I can't say I've done that. And there's people who've been to every single away game. Uh, I can't say I've done that. I've done a lot, but I've definitely not done as much as a lot of people. And I still have a ticket before a lot of people just because I have a season ticket. Not everybody can afford a season ticket, and that's perfectly fine, but people still find tickets, though. They get it through supporters clubs, they get it uh, off friends, and, you know, people who maybe are connected to the club, and, you know, tickets get filtered down to the right hands, and the right people get tickets to these big occasions. A Champions League semi-final should be an occasion for every single hardcore fan who has uh, who has been to all these away games, been to all the home games, been everywhere, all around Europe this season. It should be an occasion where all these people are inside the stadium making the noise, and they deserve to be there. I've been on Twitter this morning and I've seen people saying, I'm just back from Bayern away. I went to Wembley last week. I was at Arsenal at home on Wednesday and I can't get a ticket. I can't get a ticket for our Champions League home game against Real Madrid. Why is that? Where has this gone so horribly wrong? How has this come about? For those of you who don't know, uh, I'll, I'll explain to you the situation. So the criteria for this game was they would go on sale Wednesday, just gone two days ago, the morning of our Arsenal game, to season ticket holders. Like I said, this was a little bit weird because there was no Champions League scheme involved. I would have thought Champions League scheme um, opters in or people who opt into that would have got access first. But listen, I got my ticket. It is what it is. I moved on. A bit strange, like I said, but here we go. Then the remainder of the tickets would go on sale this morning to match day membership holders. Now listen, that sounds great, doesn't it? It sounds like match day membership people, they, 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 they're more than likely people connected to the club, they have a serious affiliation to the club, they care about the club. No, unfortunately not. The match day membership is a, it's a bit of a swizz, if you ask me. Yes, if, if you're an overseas fan and you want to feel connected to the club, a match day membership is something that I, I fully get if you want to, if you want to buy into. You get your package, you get your card, you get slightly higher access to tickets priority wise over the, the general public uh, and yada, yada, yada. You get put in a waiting list for a season ticket too if that's something you want. But on occasions like this, opening up the floor, the ticket sales to match day members was always going to be absolute chaos. Because it meant tourists, people with big cash, um, the wealthy, the people who can afford it essentially, would spend their £37 and just buy a match day membership. And immediately they're thrown into a pool with the same people who have been going week in, week out. So the people who are going week in, week out are competing with people who decide, oh, there's a big event, City versus Real Madrid, Champions League semi-final. I want to go to that. I have the cash. I'll do it. No problem. The club have let down the fans here. The club have let down the hardcore match day going fans. Big time. It's an absolute joke, if you ask me. Like I said, I don't like to criticise them too often, but they've messed up here badly. Why change the system now? Why change the system now when arguably the biggest game of the season one of the biggest games of all time, Champions League semi-final, home to Real Madrid, a great chance to go to Istanbul, the final. You change it up and you mess it up for people who were going since the 70s and 80s and 90s, way before my time. They can't get a ticket. I saw tweets this morning, people putting up screenshots uh, of the, the queue to get onto the ticket website this morning. There was one guy I saw was placed 25,000 in a queue. 25,000 in a queue to get a ticket? It is absolutely bonkers. I get the club want to grow, and I get the club have aspirations to become like a 
dare I say it, Man United or a Real Madrid or a Barcelona with a, a global fan base and appeal to the masses and come in. But this was not the time. City have now put the growth of the club, the 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 worldwide growth of the club over the hardcore match day going fan. And like I said, there's plenty of people more hardcore than me. I'm not speaking on behalf of people who go to every single game. I get to go to about three games a month maybe, which is quite a lot because I come from Dublin. But there's so many people who go a lot more than me, like I said, that haven't got a ticket to this. And it's really sad. It's it's really, really sad. that, I, And I fear for the atmosphere in the stadium that night. I've seen tickets going on resale. As soon as the tickets were all sold out on, on the city website, they're going on third-party websites on sale for six, seven hundred pounds a ticket. How is this happening? Touts have bought into this. They've probably bought a number of matchday memberships off different accounts, purchased a whole load of tickets, and they're now making a fortune off sales for this. And the saddest part is, there will be tourists willing to pay it. You know there will be tourists from America, from Asia, from wherever, and they have every right to. The tickets are on sale. They have every right to go and buy them. But the club have made the mistake of allowing the tickets to get filtered down this far. And I really fear for the atmosphere in the stadium that night. I really, really do. I've been at so many games this season in the Etihad and away games and I really, I'm really happy with the place that the, the atmosphere is in right now. The atmosphere in the Etihad against Arsenal on Wednesday was exceptional. For those of you who watched my vlog, you would have seen it was, it was unbelievable. The place was hopping. Bayern away, I was there last week. The away end, excellent. You could see, like I said earlier on, all the same faces, the same people there all the time. I can, I can nearly name them. I've got to know so many of them and, and they're, they're all such good people and such good blues. And they've been let down by the club here who basically sold them out on the basis that they want to grow the club uh, and want to make more sales and advertise that it's sold out. It's sold out. We've not sold it out. You've sold it out. The club have sold it out. City fans haven't sold us out. This is abs it's, it's really sad and it's something the club need to sort out. I'm probably not the best person to speak on it because I am not that hardcore fan who goes to every single game home and away. I go as much as I can. But I still wanted to get my thoughts across because I do feel I'm very close with a lot of these people who do go to a lot of games and I feel for them because they can't get a ticket to what should be a celebration of how far our club has come and how far this team has come this season. But it's not. I mean, let me know your thoughts down below in the comments and, uh, on the whole situation and have you got a ticket and, and maybe if you're a match going fan, what position you're in right now. I feel let down for those people. I feel let down. I really do. Let me know your thoughts down below. <laughs>